Hey, what's going on with the Robin Holly Show backstage Tortuga Music Festival with the one and only Lainey Wilson. Let's go. Entertainer of the year, Lainey Ooh, Wilson. Ooh, little cherry on top. Listen, a couple, was it, how many years ago did you play Tortuga? Two years ago. So. Summer of 22. Or when 22. I saw your set then, I was like, that's our next Entertainer of the Year. And I didn't know when it was going to happen. That happened real quick. She you said it out it. loud. I heard it. I said it out yeah. loud. I told people. <laughs> I, and I was like. I'm scared to make this, such a declaration. So what you gonna say tonight? Yeah, I was like, well, <laughs> we're gonna find out, won't we? Well, so what? What? what yeah, what is? What's next on the bucket list? You have, you have, the, you have that. You have a uh, Grammy or Grammys. Yeah. One Grammy. A one Grammy. So, yeah. uh, what, what do we check? What else do you want to check off the oh list gosh. here? Let's put it out there. It's it's so crazy because I, it seems like just so many blessings have kind of all come at once. Like y'all know, I've been in Nashville for 13 years, but I feel like my dreams just keep kind of like like adding on and and like i have dreams now that i didn't even know that i had you know like like, even, like even when it comes to the acting stuff you know mm -hmm. like i want to dabble in that a little bit more and um yeah there's there's so much that i want to do i mean when i think about the kind of careers that i want to have i think of like reba and she's not scared to do all of it so at the end of the day awards are are nice and you love that recognition and like i accept it it's a gift you yes, know yes 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 but like i can't let that be the thing that drives me you know what okay. i'm saying i do understand that maybe um i think we're okay if we could have a laney tv show that would be great so let's what's it gonna be called that's what laney it's just the laney show <laughs> the laney show like reba country's you cool don't need again. To, you don't need the last name it's just we know late when you say laney we know who we're talking about i like that <laughs> i, I like think that, that would be really nice now it does seem like country is cool again and you have been saying that way longer before and doing i feel like i don't know everyone's, everyone's kind of jumping, jumping on, board. on board yeah do you feel like you're heading the path <laughs> i wouldn't say you're i'm leading the way but are will, you leading the way i will tell you right now it is it's so cool first of all just to see people like love the way that i grew up mm -hmm. so they're not even talking about country music just like the the western way of life it is really cool to see people want to wear a cowboy hat and ride a horse. And you were just um, honored at the, is it the cowgirl? What yes. is it? In October. Yes. Or September it was. Yeah. Yes. Tell us about that. And it was just, first of all, you know how I grew up. Mm -hmm. And we grew up pretty similarly. Yep. Um, just to see those like women come together. And it was a Patsy Montana mm -hmm. award. And um, I'm talking about like true blue like gritty cowgirls but the thing is you don't have to ride a horse okay to be a cowgirl and even a lot of the ladies that got up and talked um didn't even ride you know they were painters and they did other things but it's about the ones that are holding on yep. and paving the way and celebrating and, and celebrating yeah celebrating each other too yeah i yep. really like that uh let's talk about uh wild speaking of cowboy and horses and cowgirls and wild things flowers like that. and wild, wild horses we don't we haven't talked to you about wild flowers and wild horses yet uh we and we always ask three questions when we get it behind the song and and where they were are you? where were you what were when you thinking yeah when you wrote it where were you what were you thinking and what were you drinking i was drinking coffee because i think it was like 10 o'clock mm -hmm. in the morning i was okay. over at my co-writer's house uh paul sykes i wrote it with paul and tranny anderson which is one of my dear friends what was i wearing you said what were uh what were you thinking oh what was i thinking yeah <laughs> i was like well i do i, I mean like, well, what I were you can. wearing yeah <laughs> um my gosh what was i thinking i was thinking about my family mm -hmm. i was thinking about like those five generations of farmers and um just the kind of people who would give you the shirt off their back and just they they roll their sleeves up and they get to work the the crazy thing is about this song is my mama told me after i sent her the song she was like i love this song let me tell you why it's my favorite she said you don't even know this but your great grandfather caught one of the very last wild horses in louisiana really and he farmed with it for years and so i, I didn't even know that wow but, really yeah what about the horse in the video can you tell us about because that video is That's pretty one of my special favorite videos yeah tell um, us about that we went out to arizona mm -hmm. tucson and filmed this video at white stallion ranch um and it was it was beautiful i will tell you they had me running that horse in between cactuses and oh. i thought <laughs> you're like you're like oh no <laughs> this could this could be bad but it was okay um, but it was okay horses have that sense i, they don't run I held on cactus. this yeah. horse was fast but he was a good horse uh he was one of the the horses that they use on trail rides a lot yeah and 
I mean, it's safe. Yeah. It's I was so like, good. why don't I just ride a horse in every video? That sounds like a fun time. I, you know what? That would be a goal for me. If I, I was like, let me work it in every single video. <laughs> There's got to be some little Everyone. horse element. Everyone. Because, wait, what do you call all the fans now? I forget. The wild horses? Yes, yes. Okay, the wild horses. The wild horses. Yeah, see? In the stable. See? It's perfect. We're trying to keep each other stable. <laughs> do you have a stable now? Or have you been able to, like, enjoy any of the success monetarily i guess like what did you what big thing have you bought so I far i haven't built a barn yet okay and so but you got the property i, have, I, I got some properties yes. yeah. so we just got to find the you. time to build the barn and then find the horses yeah um we got lots of time and we've got horses at home in louisiana but yeah i'm gonna be on the lookout you uh so you, if you come across a good horse let me know oh i'll let you know you mentioned acting a little bit more but apparently we still don't know what's going on with yellowstone i'm gonna tell you <laughs> Listen, it's you, a, can't, it's a you can't rush Taylor Sheridan and with his art. He's doing... 100%. There's a lot of things that go into making an epic it's, show. Yeah. When I tell you that, man, like as soon as I think I might be one of the busiest... <laughs> He's way People busy. on the face of the earth. Because he's breeding horses and he's doing stuff and been making a TV show, right? He's like making like 10 different shows at once. Yeah. And he does a damn good job at all of it. It's really wild. Yeah. Just to see how creative he is he, and just a hard worker. Yeah. So when you mix them two things together... You get Taylor Sheridan. Well, right. we'll, we'll keep our eyes and ears out for some more news. And we're looking forward to uh, Lainey, the TV show coming soon. And then, <laughs> and then and then headlining Tortuga day one in just a few. Like, come on. Let's Woo, go, put Lainey. Put your party pants on. Let's go. Thank Woo. you so much for being here. We appreciate you. Thank you. We're the Robin Holly Show with Lainey Wilson at Tortuga Music Festival.